Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how to pass an array to a function, function block uh, or method without knowing its size. Primarily there are two ways to do that um, that I know and I'm gonna show you both. The first one is not that optimal for the use but the second one comes directly from CodeSys and it's very very good. So I'm gonna create two functions um, which the functions are uh, not gonna do anything special they're just gonna write some numbers into the array. So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna name this function um, let's say uh, f1 and we're gonna return um, an integer it's okay like this and I'm gonna create a function um, let's say f2 this is from type function and return to an integer so in the first function we want to point to an array. I'm going to point to an uh, array from integers. So um, I need a pointer. Uh, let's say point enter to int. And this will be from type pointer to int. We definitely, with this function, we definitely need to uh, know the size of the array so we need um, let's say um, e size or elm we need to know the how many elements the array has so the from type integer and we need to know the start index. As you know, you can declare an array from 0 to 5 or from 1 to 5 or from 2 to 5. So we need to know the start of the uh, array. So let's say index. So, um, as I said, I'm not going to do anything special in this function, so I'm just going to have an i to count, and one for cycle. Of course, you can set an error if the pointer is pointing to zero, you can do a lot of stuff, but I just want to show you how to pass an array to a function function block or method of course um, I'm gonna create a sort function with bubble sort um, and, and I'm gonna pass um, array of string afterwards but let me now show you how to do that so I want to um, I'm just gonna write some numbers this is going to be equal to the index because, as I said, this could be 0, it could be 1, it could be 2, and so on. To the elements minus 1, because if we have 5 elements, we don't want to count to 5, we want to count uh, to 4. So let's say. I should be equal to let's say I that's it so let's declare an array uh, from that integers say from 0 to 5 or 4 let's say of 
and we can call our function one and we need three parameters so the first parameter should be the address of the array the address that means that our pointer in the function is pointing to the first element of the array we need the size of course the size you can create a constant uh, constant you can um, type it as a, a literal let's say from 0 to 5 we have five elements uh, or you can just use uh, size of function first we need the whole array so the size of the whole array and this will be divided to the size um, of uh, one single element of the array so let's say it's zero and here we want to start from zero what does this mean so the size of function give us the size uh, in bytes so <clears throat> we have five elements um, every element has two bytes so we're gonna receive 10 um, divided of two one element has two bytes is five like this so when we log in you can see our array is empty if I press play our array is filled with the numbers this is one of the ways you can pass an array to a, a function or, or function block but here you can have a very big error if you and you need three parameters if you give uh, a false parameter let's say the size is different or the start index is different as you need it you can um, point to some, uh, some to some uh, elements in the memory of uh, your program that you don't want to and you can write to those elements and your program will probably crash so you don't want to use this method pointer to int with pointer to uh, the elements of the array <clears throat> let's say I'm going to copy this one for our function 2 let's say we can do the same thing but safer so my pointer or the input uh, variable needs to be from type array of int of course because we want uh, to pass an integer array but the, for the size we just gonna use the star operator and this it's not uh, an input but an in out so it's gonna be a reference to the <coughs> to the array so I'm gonna take um, of course uh, the code and declare the same variable I don't want to write the code again this is only to show you how to pass the array to the function or function block uh, we didn't, don't need the index here and here we can use um, two operators which are from codes you can find them in the help and this is the lower bond and the upper bond for those operators we need to pass the array name and the dimension so we can have more than one dimension as you know two dimensional arrays or three dimensional arrays or so long so long 
I'm going just gonna do it with one dimensional. So let's type lower lower bound. Pass the array to the lower bound, and we have one dimension. And this is to upper bound. Again, we pass the array. We pass the array, and we have only one dimension. So that's basically what we need to have in our second function. Uh, okay. Cannot type the int to type int. So this is the problem. We need to have it. We can convert it, but we can the, for the. I just gonna type the int to my and this I will convert let's say to int and now I'm, I'm not gonna go out of uh, the bit uh, byte size because integer has two uh, two bytes and double integer has four bytes uh, that's why Codasys is warning me that I'm gonna make a mistake, but that's not important in this situation I just want to show you that we can pass an array to the function function block or method with the uh, star operator so let's make the same thing, but this time uh, with with our second function so f f2 and this time we need to pass only one single parameter. I'm just gonna call it array two, and this will be, let's say, with eight elements. We can log in, download, and as you can see, both our arrays are empty. If we press start, they are filled. So I will recommend you to use the star operator if you want to pass an array uh, to a function or function block or method. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.